we're rolling. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to today's ride. With Paul. Hey Paul. I'm just about to do the Peachy Me permanent 200 over Mount Me, Peachester, Redcliffe, and then back through Jinka Track. See how we go. <laughs> Oh, from the start, yeah. Seven Ks from the gap to Ferny Grove. So we've done close to 40, got another 40 to go before Woodford. Stop and have coffee, something like that. Blowing and all the smoke from the fires over the last few days is gathering in the valleys and rolling over the hills and obscuring the beautiful view. Usually, you'd be able to see down to the ocean from here. Field, which is 
139 k's in. Next stop, Sandgate at 180 k's, and then up the Jinka track to Fernie Grove uh, to close out the 200 k's. It's doing pretty well. We've um, averaging 22 and a half k's an hour, so into a block head headwind now. It's going to make things a little bit tougher, especially as we get down towards the bay. Down to Sandgate, uh, Redcliffe and Sandgate, over the Ted Smout Bridge. Yeah, still feeling pretty, pretty fresh. Yeah, I almost suggested to you back there when we were passing that Oh yeah. Might as well stop for a drink, what do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was a big one. Um, yeah, it was great fun. I was really glad to have Paul there with me. That was my first um, board axe permanent. Yeah, so a permanent is just, you know, the course is set well in advance and you can do it any time of year. One of the things that I noticed about the, um, the ride, the landscape is constantly changing. Um, and on one side of the mountains we had um, dust and smoke and haze and wind and then we got down the other side of the mountains and in between Woodford and Peachester had some gravel that was good fun um, up over Peachester um, behind Biwa and through the Glasshouse Mountains and then into uh, Deception Bay um, where we picked up some sea breezes um, picked up a, a headwind for a little bit and then uh, when we got down to um, the Sandgate it was a cross tailwind and then up the Jinka track and back into Fernie Grove so yeah it was a big day out um, yeah it turns out that my tire did need replacing so we were lucky enough to stop in at um, Hoffy Cycles who was still open in Sandgate there um, picked up a replacement and uh, yeah, Paul only had, had one flat, so yeah, we got through pretty well, 200, yeah, 200 k's. Yeah, so the ride, um, the ride by the numbers, 216 k's, eight and a half hours of riding time, about 11 hours elapsed, and uh, 2,642 meters of elevation. So yeah, a big day in the saddle, and I'm looking forward to more big days like that. If you like, this video, um, give me the thumbs up, it really helps. Yeah, so if you want to see more rides like it, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, and ciao for now.